The German Ministry of Defense refused by the Russian news agency RIA Novosti. A accusation that four German army troops had been killed in a leopard tank in Ukraine. This is a explosive claim members of the German army and therefore NATO forces are accused of participating in war operations against Russia in Ukraine. According to multiple social media users, officers of the Russian armed forces destroyed a leopard tank transferred to Ukraine with German Bundeswehr soldiers team. Russia claims that he has met German soldiers fighting in Ukraine. A NATO troops now get involved in this war? He asked an ex-user. Apparently the claim was first shared by the Russian state media RIA Novosti on September 23. But after reading the article, things start to become a little dark. Information comes from a single source an anonymous Russian army officer who claims to speak German fluently. Later, he explains that rest dead crew found dying mechanic in a demolished leopard tank. Who trusts that rest of Bundeswehr is part Bundeswehr? We could not verify these claims independently. And Ria Novosti is known to spread the pro-Kremlin disinformation. A charges of strongly rejected by the German Ministry of Defense other French online articles claim that the German Ministry of Defense confessed that these charges are true. However, Euronews could not find such an explanation on its websites or German media. Speaking with Deutsche Welle, the German mode rejected these allegations. According to websites, Germany accepts Ukraine as one of the most modern armored vehicles in the world by supplying weapons and equipment from Bundeswehr stocks, including Leopard 2 tanks. Ukrainian soldiers have been trained on how tanks and other artillery would maneuver in Germany for the last few months. However, delivery includes not only a German crew, but also tanks and military equipment. Berlin and NATO partners refrained from playing a direct role in the conflict. Reports of German mercenary soldiers according to German newspaper Merker. There are reports that the Germans participated in war in Ukraine. But only as mercenary soldiers for Moscow or Kiev. Although Merker is legal for a German to be a mercenary in Ukraine. It reminds us that warriors were not protected within the Genoese Convention, especially if they were taken prisoner in Russia. For this reason, to escape guaranteed torture or execution, the German journalist explains that he insists on capture of a mercenary hanger as a member of an army. However, it is also very likely that the Kremlin will deliberately regulate the conflict further.